Gospel of, uh, of Matthew chapter 13 on this fine Wednesday. Jesus said to his disciples, the kingdom of heaven is like a treasure buried in a field. When a person finds and hides again, out of joy goes and sells all he has and buys that field. So in the time of Jesus, all right, there's really no bank, so to protect your valuables, your money, you buried it. You buried it in the field. Hopefully you don't forget where you placed it. There's some people who, who went through the depression, probably not around today, but missed, have been missed distrust of banks and they hide it. Maybe you think of those movies hiding in, under the mattress or whatever it may be or on the wall or in a drawer. And so back then, the same thing, they hide it. Now, if you were to um, stumble upon someone's treasure in a field and you were to take it, that's stealing because it's, it's his possession. It's theirs. As long as it's in the earth, it's, it's theirs. You can't touch, take it. But once you buy it, that money, even though the seller didn't, in his mind didn't include that money, he might have forgotten that it was there. That was not his intention to, give, you know, to include the money, the valuables. I'm sorry, once you buy it, it's yours, and you get to keep it. It's yours. Okay? And so as Jesus says to us, that's why we went on joy and bought everything, and we buy this land, and, and now and who cares about the land? I got this money. And Jesus said, that's how we must treat, you know, getting to, you know, uh, a relationship with God, that once we come experience Christ, we sell everything we have and let nothing come between us and him. I want this, this treasure. So let, let nothing separate me, be it money, be it relationships, job, whatever, interests, whatever. Nothing that's come before my relationship with Christ. God bless you.